maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something in the water. But remember when people looked at good characters and said, that's pretty cool. And people thought about them in a way that they were to be lionized and admired. You were supposed to look at Superman and see the best in people, not wonder what he'd be like if he was secretly evil or Russian or some sort of imperialist oppression. He was a character that did good because he was good. And people admired him because he was good and aspired to be better because he was good. And somewhere along the line, I feel like we've lost the thread of basic humanity. Breaking Bad, the whole Yakuza series, GTA 5, Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, all of them seem to be obsessed with showing the worst in humanity, and yet they have fans that border on the ravenous. Are we as a society so terrified of acting properly or being good that we'd rather root for the cartoonishly evil? Well, apparently... I'm just going to throw this out here again. When Dark Helmet said evil will always win because good is dumb, it was supposed to be a joke. And yet, we have people out here who think that the Joker and Harley Quinn are a great couple. So, here's the main idea. I feel that in the anime community, characters who display outwardly evil traits with a complete lack of morality are the ones that are given the most positive attention by fans for reasons that I have yet to understand. When a character like the Joker or Dio or Majima shows up in a piece of fiction, they exist to test the main character, like Batman or Jojo or Kiryu. They are there as dark reflections of the things that we are, as functional human beings, supposed to admire. They exist to push the heroes to their limits, but never to win. They are to test the moral codes of these characters. They show what the easier, the crueler, faster path is. They are what our heroes, who, for whatever their faults or flaws might be, must overcome to prove their own valor and remind us as viewers that, yes, being good is the right thing to do even though it's hard. They are what the characters would be if they just took the easier way out. Characters who are morally reprehensible like these characters exist to give a sense of catharsis to the audience when they are defeated, not to engender feelings of affection. Now... Before I get any further, I'm not talking about characters who are anti-heroes. I'm not talking about the Char Aznables of the anime world. I'm talking about the Giran Zabis. If you think Giran, literal space Hitler Zabi, is an admirable character, kindly take the swastikas off your wall and rethink your life before watching any further. This channel is a no-Nazi zone. Thank you very fucking much. But it is important to note that characters like Giran Zabi are so cartoonishly evil that you would think that nobody would be like, Ooh, yeah, that boy, mm-hmm. But people are all about Dio fucking Brando, so I guess what the hell do I know? Morally complex characters are interesting. Fundamentally, they struggle more with what we as people every day would struggle with. Shar Aznable is an interesting character, morally complex, but ultimately a villain. Redeemable characters, characters who are evil because they don't know any other way, or characters that can be pulled back and ultimately are pulled back from the dark side, those are the kind of villains that people should feel more comfortable with emphasizing with. Characters like Lupin III or Alucard, who are definitive anti-heroes, are not examples of this problems because they may be on the wrong side, but they're doing the right thing, even if it's for the wrong reasons. Dio Brando is a villain with no moral compass. There's literally nothing to him except a homoerotic obsession with the Joe Stars and a shoulder-to-waist ratio that makes him look like a goddamn Dorito. And there's plenty to be said about writing villains as gay as some sort of shorthand, but let's set that aside for the moment. Hmm? Why else would an otherwise normal person find anything admirable about someone without any moral compass? Well, I suppose it depends on the person, but I gotta say, there's some real self-examination that needs to go on here. To quote John Scalzi, sci-fi author and fellow Midwesterner, You may not be a shitty person, but if the people you admire and valorize are consistently shown to be shitty people, eventually people will start to have concerns about you. The media that you consume and the characters that you appreciate on some of the deeper levels do reflect on you. But with this in mind, what does having a community that has these people who love villainous characters mean? How do we as a community of fans and enthusiasts take a stand against anything when we lionize characters who are fundamentally evil? The argument that it's just entertainment rings very, very hollow when there's a clear pattern of behavior forming from fans that I've met who like characters like this. 
I'm not saying that I have all the answers or that I like only the goodest of the good characters because clearly that's not true. And sometimes, yeah, good characters can be boring, but that's not a fault of goodness. That's a fault of writers. So when writers make their morally reprehensible and bankrupt characters maybe more interesting than the good characters, that speaks to something being very fucked up about them. And when those same characters are valorized and drooled over by fans of those works, that fucked up itness, I would say, also seems to be present in those fans. Maybe I'm moralizing more than I am editorializing this episode, but I gotta put something on record about this because it weirds me the fuck out. I don't know if there's any good answer other than, I don't know, go to Sunday school or something, but I will never not be creeped out by people who see these characters as something interesting or something worth idolizing. I will never understand it, and I hope to God that I never do because I think y'all are just straight up fucked up, but... (laughs) <laughs> what do I know, right? I guess at the end of the day, it's the same problem I have with people who are fans of Warhammer 40,000 without realizing it's supposed to be a fucking joke, or who are fans of Starship Troopers without realizing that it's supposed to be a send-up uh, or a takeoff on what fascist governments look like. When people fail to examine what characters they're looking at with admiration, I have to just think that we have a morality issue in our fan communities that what little morality we might have in this day and age has been warped and twisted by the things that we watch and the things that we've been given that admiring the Joker or Goro Majima or Dio Brando suddenly becomes a better option than thinking that when Batman does a good thing it's good or when Kiryu beats the shit out of Majima with his bare hands that that's a triumph of goodness over quite obvious evil in this age when we are consistently confronted by real proper evil on a daily basis in our news media in our our governmental systems anybody who immediately takes to the villains the real diehard villains i just have to wonder what they'll do in a real crisis about this sort of thing i know where i'd stand but i don't know if i can trust who's standing behind me so on that dour note this is professor otaku the greatest american anime critic signing off 